Love is blind, and so is hope. But something doesn't become true just because you want it badly enough. I don't know why it is in my house, but I'm not going to be fooled. I say it because she isn't my mom. She looks like her, and talks like her, and smiles like her, but it isn't her. The worst part is, Dad doesn't even notice. I saw them dancing in the kitchen when I got home from school. Frank Sinatra was playing on the stereo. His smooth voice propelling their tangled bodies in a slow waltz across the room. My dad's eyes were closed, as his head rested on its shoulder, and he seemed genuinely happy. Happier than I've ever seen him in a long time. I just dropped my backpack and stared. It let go of my father, and hugged me. I stood stiff as a board. Mom never used to hug me when I got home. She knew I'd like having my space. But there's no denying how soft and warm she felt, or the lavender odor of her shampoo washing over me. We're having homemade pizza with the cheese baked into the crust, my dad's favorite thing in the world. And seeing him so happy, I didn't have the heart to say anything. I just went to my room like a coward. I just pretended everything was fine. Maybe if I wasn't a little happy to see her too, I would have fought against it harder. It's been hard for us all since Mom died, but that was no excuse to let Ed into our house, just so we could pretend we were a family again. But Mom, my real Mom, would put me to bed without staying to watch me fall asleep. She would hold onto my dad's arm when she talked, but she wouldn't dig her nails in so deeply they drew blood. She wouldn't forget to blink for hours at a time. Two days have passed. I've been struggling to decide what to do. No, that's not quite true. I know what needs to be done, but it would have been easier to just keep pretending like my dad. Maybe in time, I would have even forgot that a drunk driver T-boned my mom's SUV while she and my dad were coming home from their date. I'd forget the bloodstains on the asphalt and the hours I spent waiting for her in the emergency room. Maybe I'd even forget how it felt when she didn't come out. Then again, maybe those are the memories that aren't real. They certainly don't feel real when my mother, I mean, Ed, sits between us on the sofa to watch the evening news. But letting her be replaced even if it was easier for dad and me, it wasn't any way to respect my real mom. It was for her, not for me, that made me finally speak up. Dad, we need to talk about mom. I'd waited until Ed went to the bathroom, which doesn't happen nearly as often as it used to, to corner my dad in his bedroom. He just kept breathing, not even returning my gaze. He knew what I was going to say. He just didn't want to hear it. Do you remember what happened last month when she was in that accident? It's getting late. You should go to bed so you'll be ready for school tomorrow. Dad said. Dad, this is serious. Please tell me that you remember. I heard a flush from the bathroom. There wasn't much time. I'd never get an answer out of Dad, with Ed here. Dad was watching the bathroom door, too, like a kid praying for the bell to ring before the teacher collected homework. The shower began to run, and I let out a deep breath I didn't even realize I was holding. Dad sighed, too. There was no getting out of this. Yeah, I remember, he said. He stared back into my eyes. 
I finally had his attention. Do you remember the hospital? And what happened after? Yeah, it was a pretty bad crash. We we're all so fortunate that nobody was hurt. His eyes were knee and sharp. He couldn't have forgotten. He was just trying to get me to accept it without having to admit it. For my real mom's sake, though, it had to be said. She died, Dad. We went to her funeral. He didn't flinch. Didn't even blink. He just smiled. Don't be ridiculous. She's in the bathroom right now. I ran over to him and grabbed him by the shoulders. I shook him, but he didn't fight it. He just kept staring at me like I was a puzzle he was trying to solve. You're lying. You know what happened. I know what happened. Why are you lying to me? Aren't you happier this way? He asked. If you think about what happened, really think about it. You realize this is the best thing for you. There, that was proof. He wasn't trying to evade it anymore. He wasn't even averting his eyes in denial. The shower stopped running, but he kept his eyes on me. That's when I realized I couldn't remember the last time I saw him blink. Dad had been in the accident too. Why hadn't I wondered? Why he came out unharmed? I've been so busy mourning mom that I hadn't even stopped to think. He must have seen it in my face, because his smile stretched wider. Now you understand, but you mustn't let mother know that I told you. She wants to have a family so badly. I'd hate to think what she would do if she found out you didn't think of her that way. The bathroom door opened. Ed stood there, wrapped in a towel. She walked nonchalantly over to my dad, or who I thought was my dad, and gave him a kiss. They both turned to look at me. What are you still doing awake? My other mother asked. Is everything all right? He was just going to bed, my other dad said. Everything is fine, isn't it? I nodded. Come, let me tuck you in. My other mother started moving towards me, but she stopped when she saw me flinch. Let your mother tuck you in. My other dad's voice was tense with an unspoken threat. Perfect parents like us deserve to have the perfect son. I hope we won't need to replace him. He laughed at his own joke, and she put her hand on his arm as she laughed with him. I turned around and headed for my room, so I wouldn't have to see the blood dripping down his arm. Subscribe.